What's up, everybody? My name is Job Simmons, and as many of you may know, Comic Con Home is happening right now, and I'm going to do a slightly different reaction for this video. It's still related to the New Mutants, but I'll be watching a guide from IGN called Who's Who in the New Mutants movie, and I think this is going to be really helpful for me to tell the characters apart. So, let's see what that's in store. Three, two, one. The New Mutants movie is almost here, introducing a brand new cast of teen heroes from the X-Men comics. With iconic characters like Wolverine, Cyclops, and Professor X nowhere to be found, you may be wondering just who these mutants are and how they're connected to the original team. So let's all strap on our Cerebro helmets and break down who's who among the rookie X-Men known as the New Mutants. You might not know Ilyana Rasputin, but you probably remember her older Magic. brother, Pyotr, aka Colossus. The mutant gene runs strong in the Rasputin family, but rather than turn to organic steel like her brother, Ilyana can conjure up teleportation discs that allow her to travel through time and space. Unfortunately, in the comics, she also spent most of her childhood trapped in a demonic realm called Limbo. On the plus side, that experience heightened her powers and gave her control over a mystical blade called the Soul Sword. On the downside, she's got major psychological baggage from years of torment and being groomed to become a demon queen. But if you want to talk psychological baggage, no new mutant has it worse than the self-loathing Rain Sinclair. The Scottish heroine is basically a mutant werewolf with enhanced strength and senses and sharp claws. Because she was raised by an abusive anti-mutant pastor, Rain grew up hating herself and the power she hides within. Even after joining the new mutants, wow. that self-loathing streak doesn't immediately fade. On the other end of the spectrum, Roberto da Costa Sounds is the fun. type of guy who loves himself more than anyone. This handsome, charismatic son of a Brazilian businessman and an American archaeologist can absorb and redirect solar energy. You might remember him from his brief appearance as Sentinel Food in X-Men Days of Future Past, but oh, so this is a whole new movie. sunspot for a very different sort of X-Men movie. You can't feature character. Roberto without including his BFF, Sam Guthrie. There are AKA thousands Campbell. of mutants in the Marvel Universe, and sometimes it seems like half of them are members of the Guthrie family. Sam is a wide-eyed teen who wants nothing more than to escape the working-class life of his Kentucky home. Rather than being trapped in a coal mine, Sam soars the skies as Cannonball, a mutant who can fly at incredible speeds while generating an indestructible force field in front of him. That's where he gets one of the most awkward catchphrases in all of comics. I'm not invulnerable when I'm blasted. Ugh. <laughs> With Professor X sitting this one out, the New Mutants will instead need to turn to Dr. Cecilia Reyes. A gifted doctor the, with the mutant the ability to generate a protective force field around herself, Dr. Reyes would rather focus on saving lives than playing superhero. Whether the same holds true in the movie remains to be seen. Dr. Reyes appears to be studying the captive New Mutants as part of some grim psychological experiment, so we'll have to wait for the movie to find out whether she's truly friend or foe. Finally, right. there's Danny Moonstar, a Native American with some okay, very right. literal demons in her past. Danny can conjure up psychic illusions drawn from the fears of her enemies. In the comics, she also became a Valkyrie of Asgard, but don't expect that particular twist in the movie. Danny's entire family is threatened by a terrifying entity known as the Demon Bear, a oh, monster yeah, we've who seen that in the, the villain and of the movie. These six characters barely scratch the surface of the New Mutants franchise, and even though a sequel to the movie is looking pretty unlikely, we might as well touch on a few who deserve the big screen treatment at some point. Most conspicuous in her absence is Karma, a mutant who can telepathically invade other people's bodies and served as the team's original leader in the comics. There's Doug Ramsey, a mutant with a handy power to understand any language. There's also Warlock, a techno-organic alien who sometimes bonds with Doug to form a being named Douglock. And then there are the later recruits, who joined the team when they were evolving from Junior X-Men to the paramilitary Death Squad X-Force, like Boom Boom, Richter, and Warpath. But those are all the mutants you need to know for Fox's final X-Men movie. Let us know in the comments which new mutants characters you'd like to see adapted to live action. And for all things X-Men, keep it locked to IGN. Oh yeah, very great video to watch to get ready for the new mutants movie and Obviously, they covered the main characters for the last X-Men movie, and since it's going to be the last X-Men movie for 20th Century Fox, I hope it goes really, really well for the studio. But let me know in the comments what characters you're looking forward to seeing in this movie, and what characters you think should have been included in this movie. Thank you for watching.